Let's look at exponential graphs. For example, let's sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 3 raised to the x minus first power minus 2. And then we're going to find any x or y intercepts of its graph. Let's use graph transformations to help us here. Let's start by sketching y is equal to 3 to the x. So if this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis, what does y equal 3 to the x look like? Well, it has a y-intercept at 1, and then when x is 1, y is 3 raised to the first power, which is 3. So this is 2, here's 3. So we have the point 1, 3 it lies on the graph. And the exponential function looks like this. Now the x-axis, or y equals 0, is a horizontal asymptote. Now what does this minus 1 do here? What that does is it shifts this graph rigidly one unit to the right. That is, the graph of y is equal to 3 to the x minus first power. Looks like this. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. What's going to happen to this point over here, 0, 1, if we shift our graph one unit to the right? This is going to move to 0 plus 1, 1 or 1, 1. And what's going to happen to this point here? 1, 3. It's going to move to 1 plus 1, 3, or 2, 3. Now let's plot these points. This is x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. Here's our point 1, 1. And if this is x equal to 2, y equal to 3, then here's our point 2, 3. And the horizontal asymptote will still remain at y equal to 0, so our graph will look like this. Now what does this negative 2 do to this graph? What that does is it shifts this entire graph rigidly down two units. So let's say this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. What is going to happen to this point here, 1, 1? It's going to move to 1, and then 1 minus 2, or 1 negative 1. And what's going to happen to this point here? this 2, 3. It's going to move to 2, 3 minus 2, or 2, 1. So let's plot these points over here. Here is x equal to 1, y equal to negative 1. So here's our point, 1, negative 1. And then here's 2, and 1. So here's our point, 2, 1. Now the horizontal asymptote was at y equal to 0, which is also shifting down 2 units, which means that the new horizontal asymptote then will be at y is equal to negative 2. And so our graph looks like this. And let's darken these points we plotted. That is, this is f of x is equal to 3 raised to the x minus first power, and then minus 2. Now we're also asked to find any x or y intercepts of its graph.
And looking at our graph, we see that we have a y-intercept here and an x-intercept here. So let's find these intercepts. To find the y-intercept, we set x equal to 0 in our equation. That is, we have y is equal to 3 raised to the 0 minus 1 minus 2, or y is equal to 3 to the negative first power minus 2, or y is equal to 1 third minus 2, or y is equal to negative 5 thirds, which would be our y-intercept. That is, coming back over here to our graph, the y-coordinate of this point is negative 5 thirds. All right, and what about our x-intercept? To find our x-intercept, we set y equal to 0. That is, we have 0 is equal to 3 raised to the x minus first power minus 2, or 3 raised to the x minus first power is equal to 2. And now writing this in the equivalent logarithmic form gives us that log base 3 of 2 is equal to x minus 1. And now adding 1 to both sides gives us that x is equal to log base 3 of 2 plus 1, which would be our x-intercept. That is, the x-coordinate of this point here is log base 3 of 2 plus 1. And this is how we work with exponential graphs. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.